Hello everyone, it's Kay. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello. My name is Kay. I'm a professional home organizer and soprano here in the Boston area. And I am here to inspire you to live a more organized life. So today we're gonna get down and dirty about uh, spaces that need to get reorganized. It seems to be over and over again and how that's not necessarily a bad thing. I've organized spaces in my home over and over it seems and part of the reason is because I get a great amount of joy out of it. I love to organize. Hello, I dedicated an entire channel to home organizing so it's kind of a way of, it's like a mantra for me. One of the spaces I've had a little bit of a challenge with uh, in the last I think like five years of my life is actually this beautiful armoire from West Elm. For the last five years, it served me as some extra storage space for whatever, and it was originally supposed to be a space for all of my uh, concert clothes, and yes, it is right now. It has all of my concert clothes in there. I'm a professional singer in my real other life, and I do have like concert gowns and things like that that need to be stored uh, in a place separate from my other clothes because it doesn't really make sense to have that stuff in there if it's, it's kind of special. Um, but however, now it's become sort of a, a catch-all for uh, other kinds of random stuff too, and I want to I can really give it a defined job today. So full disclosure, as much as I love sleeping with my husband, it's really great. We have, you know, he's very cuddly, I love him. We have recently discovered that it is much more peaceful to sleep with separate comforters because uh, we're, you know, fighting for the comforter in the middle of the night. I would pull this way and he would pull back that way and I'd wake up and be like all grumbly. Um, and so, We've discovered that he loves to sleep with his weighted blanket. That's too heavy for me, but I love to sleep with my down comforter. That's just right for me because I can sort of get into it like a cocoon, which is really like how I love to sleep. And ever since we've discovered that, we've been sleeping, I think, much more deeply and much more peacefully. <laughs> um, and that's just the way it is. So I need to figure out a way to store this down comforter and the weighted blanket in there really nicely. I also want to just figure it out like what I want that space to be. So I'm going to be totally frank with you and up front when I say this is kind of a mess and I is, I have nicknamed this lovingly the hot mess cabinet because it's always a hot mess in there. Like I'll straighten it out and then I'll just throw stuff in and be like meh 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 and whatever I'll do with, deal with it later. That's totally okay. The space doesn't bother me you know on on the daily basis, but today I just want to straighten it up today and see what is going down. So I'll take you on the journey. Do you guys hear Clover barking? There's a dog at the window that he can see. So he's like, he's making sure that that, that dog knows that, you know, he lives here and he's the king. Are you the king of this, of this house? Yes. Here's Clover for all the Clover lovers out there. <laughs> I didn't even realize I did the entire intro with my AirPods in. Sorry, they're like glued to me, um, but I'll show you what my room looks like and then we'll show you what the inside of the cabinet looks like. So just a little behind the scenes there, there's Clover. <laughs> there's, ooh, this, this leaf is getting pretty yellow. I think this is about to die, this old, this is one of the oldest leaves on this plant though. So, uh, rip. Um, anyway, so my vanity's there, there's my nightstand, and here is the bed I haven't made yet. So this is the comforter I wanna make room for because this is my nightly cocoon. My husband has been a very good doobie and put his blanket away uh, because I, I politely ask him to do that every morning. And I also have a third, like a random third pillow that I like to sleep with. You know what? It, it's fine, it works. Because <laughs> Clover actually sleeps up here every evening. Like he goes from my spot to his spot to my spot, to his spot, like all night long. So we have a whole system worked out. So it's a little messy in here today. I've got some uh, humidifier that I'm gonna open and something that I'm gonna repair. And let's take a look inside this, this cabinet. So, and okay. <laughs> so right now, it's not too bad. I think I have some like Nintendo stuff there. I've got, this is my husband's blanket. Um, this is actually my other blanket, my like sleep hugger thing. I wanna keep this also somewhere where I can grab it too. It's, if you don't know what it is, it's like, if you're feeling really anxious, this is like a weighted blanket, but it's not. It's like a swaddling clothes for adults. See, it's like, um, this is the, the bottom, and then, <laughs> This, I'm just so silly. And then this is the top and you, you, you get into it and you can like be swaddled at night if you're feeling really anxious. 
<laughs> or need some soothing. So that's why I have that. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm hashtag exposed. Okay, and the other horrible part of this space is the space where all my gowns are. I just pushed a whole bunch of stuff there. Um, I'm gonna move that back into the closet. I actually made space for it. Um, it's just like a th stuff of a place where I can throw things um, because I believe everyone needs a place where you can throw things. So I'm gonna work this out today and I'll take you on the journey. Enjoy. Right, Clover? Right. Okay, I've moved a few things to um, other spaces that where they were better, better stored. And it looks like, let's see, I'm just gonna move this scarf with some of my black stuff. So I'll just put that on there. <laughs> um, oh my goodness. This is one top I bought right before the lockdown and I never got a chance to wear it on stage. <laughs> well, I act like my career's over, it's not, but um, I bought this and I was like, oh, I can't, can't wait to wear it at a concert. And wow, okay. I forgot that I had that. How sad is that? Um, okay, so everything looks pretty good now. And I've definitely got some space on the bottom here to put some items. I wish that would hold open, but it, it won't. Sorry. <laughs> um, but this, this shelving space here is where a lot of the problems are. And it's mostly because it's where I was putting stuff that I really need to just get rid of. <laughs> so this box was in there. Um, this was like a box full of like DVDs and makeup I was gonna give away. So I'm just gonna add that to like the makeup giveaway pile and also um, like a hat. <laughs> uh, I won this hat at Vid Summit, um, but I would, I would never wear this. So this is swag, so it needs to Go. Someone's gonna enjoy this and be like, oh my gosh, I got a hat. I don't know what that means, but I'm gonna wear it because I mean, I, I'm, I'm never going, I'm never going to wear this. <laughs> so I just need to start another giveaway bag. Let me see if I can grab a bag from the kitchen or something. Okay, I found a bag in the kitchen. This will be my giveaway bag for like stuff I can just give. Um, the makeup and stuff I will need to, it, it's more complicated. Um, it's gonna go to a, ch a charity that will accept makeup, so I need to separate that from the rest of the giveaway stuff. I have a couple other caps in here. These other caps I actually, I wear. This one's like satin lined inside, and this one I got in Hilton Head. Oh no, I got it in Death Valley. It says Death Valley National Park. So in the summertime I wear these, so I'm gonna put these back into my closet. And this is like a shower clock. Um, I don't know if this will stick in the shower right now. Um, maybe I'll give it a shot. I'll put it in the shower and see if I can get it to stick. Sometimes this, um, this, what are these, suction cups don't always work out well, but I'll give, them a, I'll give them a good clean and I'll try to stick it up there. I like, I like knowing what time it is in the shower. It's, I, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous, but I have to have a clock in every room with a face so that I know what time it is. Don't judge. Okay, oh, here's the, the makeup giveaway box that's here. So I'll just add this to the makeup giveaway box. Whoa, I'm this to the makeup giveaway box. So I have a bunch of makeup that I'm giving to friends and giving to charity. So that is a specific box. Um, that's kind of a project. I have to ask my friends which ones they want and go to the post office. So it's a, it's a big deal, but I don't feel like I need to store that there. I feel like that's um, something from my office. So I'll, I'll take that and leave it there. Oh my goodness, what is all of this? Okay, this is an earring earring ba bag. Oh, I didn't move that next to my crafts. Okay, we've got a Cricut thing, a notepad, and these things. I've been moving, I've been moving these around forever. Let's see. This is a Valentine's Day card. Oh, this is a nice Valentine's Day card, so I'm gonna save this one and put it in my journal. Um, it was really sweet. It was a uh, Valentine's Day, uh, I think 2014 or 2015. And 
uh, as a surprise for Valentine's Day, my husband took me on a trip to New York on weekend. Um, and it says, uh, roses are red, violets are blue, pack a bag because we're going to New York. <laughs> he drew this little, like, New York <laughs> in a little car. It's so cute. So I'm going to put that in my journal. Keep a journal of, like, relevant life events um, and, like, memorabilia from them. So that way I don't have to, like, have a whole photo album or anything. I just will write how I'm feeling about the event and then post the tape the card inside. And I think it's really nice to relive some memories that way. I also found some clips for hangers. These are like the, the clips for the suit hangers. Um, I don't think that they need to really be stored in here, although it's not a horrible place, but I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna put these in my closet. I think that's a good place for that. Okay, this box is, I feel like it's not, it's not gonna be good. It's, it broke by the way. So this was like my container store box. It's got a little, see the, the lid is broken. Um, but it's like the replica box they give you when you work at the container store for five years, I think. Um, oh, it's got my thumb drives in it. <laughs> what a strange box. Um, well, I don't think that, not thumb drives, but they're external hard drives. I don't really think that this is the appropriate place to be storing them. This was a, um, one of those external batteries for your iPhone, but this one is like exploding as you can see um it still works but i mean if the battery is like exploding then i should um get a new one so rip for that so i also found a little amazon basics speaker i was um this was given to me it was it's swag basically um and i don't use it anymore because we have sonos so i'm just gonna put that in the little donation pile um, these are Nintendo things uh, because I have a Nintendo box, which is very important to me, actually. Whoa! Oh my gosh! I didn't have. I didn't know that was on top of there. I'm gonna move this into the other bathroom. What is in here? I, I don't know. I'll have to look after I get back. I have a feeling this is just gonna be a container inside a container, like this is a travel thing. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's like little containers inside of containers because this never made it back up to my travel box up at the top, so I'll just have to put this away. That's fine. Oh, okay. Well, it looks like things I was working on. The morning side cook, kick journal. Oh, I need to use this. This was sent to me by, by Habit Nest, and I need to, um, I actually want to do that. I want to do that in 2021. Uh, I'll start now, but I want to do it in 2021. And uh, here's a book I've read a few times. I, I don't know, know if I need this in here, but I'm going to put it away. This is my portable Nintendo box. This um, can live in there. It's totally fine. Um, and I'm actually okay with putting both the Nintendo box and this box back in there. And then just having them live there, that's totally fine. finished with my project. I will show you what's inside and it's a lot better than it was, I promise. Um, I can't promise that I won't reorganize this space again, especially since I discovered that there is a little six inch drawer that's mine here that um, is kind of, what what is it? But I will deal with that another time. <laughs> I'll show you what I did. So this cabinet is back to being the dress cabinet. There's nothing on the floor anymore. I can't promise that I won't put anything on the floor, but it is the way that it is. And now this is a proper bedtime linen cabinet. We've got mine there and also my little snuggy poo. Um, well, it's not called snuggy poo. It's called, what is this called? I forgot. And then we've got my secret pillow here. It's not a secret pillow. It's, to, it's a pillow that I, I use. And just that top is like kind of random stuff. So I think I did a pretty good job of clearing it out and now it looks pretty cool. I also put a bunch of stuff away that was out here. Um, we finally made the bed as you can see. So now I don't have to uh, 
have you know all my stuff out all the time by the way i get asked a lot about why we have blankets behind pillows well my husband has this like special neck pillow that he uses and in order to balance out the way that the pillows are on the bed i needed to put something else to prop this in front if you if you get what I mean. So um, these are like the dog blankets. So we have two, one for like the bed and one for the back of the pillows. So we don't get dog hair everywhere. Uh, I mean, it's a good try. So that is, that is why we do that. Okay, so that's just another quick project done. I hope I inspired you to go clean out a little cabinet or a this small spot in your home. If you're feeling really intimidated by the idea of like getting your home organized, you know, like the big picture, getting your home organized, start with something really manageable. Like I could have just stuck to this cabinet here or just one shelf. You know, it's really, it's, it's manageable if you do it in like small bursts or if you have someone help you out and listen to something really fun while you do it and just be realistic about what you're actually using and keeping. I actually found a cable I was looking for for like weeks when I cleaned that out. So I can't wait to do some more. I'm going to do a little more organizing of this sort of area and that stuff when I have a little more energy. So I hope you guys are having a great morning, great afternoon, great evening, wherever you are. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.